Good morning, everyone. Leah Dixon here from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. I am live with my Wednesday morning. Um, it's not really a card class to go, actually, this week. It's more of a paper pumpkins alternative. And I wanted to share with you about the 24-hour stamp sale that's going on today with, um, with Stampin' Up! So I'll just let a few more of you pop on. Good morning, everyone. As you arrive, if you want to say hi in the comments, I'd love to know who is here and watching. Good morning, Kim. Um, so I'm going to switch over to my desktop. I'm going to explain a little bit about our stamp sale today, and then we'll get started crafting. So let's see. There we go. All right. So... Um, Basically, our stamp sale that's going on right now is any stamp set out of the annual catalog. So not our online exclusives or anything like that, but open up your catalog, find the stamp set you love. It's not the whole bundle. So when we've got suites like this that are bundled, it would just be on the stamp set. So for those ones, I would say you're still probably better off grabbing the bundle, but anytime you find just a one-off stamp set that you absolutely love, that's going to be your best deal. So here we've got the bird's eye view, and so that one would be 15% off. Good morning, Louisa. Um, so yeah, a great time to flip through your catalog. Um, oh, the little monkeys. Oh, and Taco Fiesta, one of my favorites. Um, so flip through your catalog, find those stamp sets that have been on your wish list, and now is a great time to grab them at 15% off. And today, I'm going to be doing three paper pumpkin alternative cards, but I'm actually going to be incorporating one of our stamp sets that's 15% off today. Um, actually, I'm incorporating three of them. Um, so just a quick reminder, this is the July paper pumpkin that I'd been using um, two days ago for these awesome fun fold cards. Um, and these are like a sidestep card. They're so cool, fun to make. Um, and normally for my paper pumpkin alternatives, I will take bits and pieces from the card kit and kind of repurpose them and make something different. But these cards were just way too much fun. Um, I didn't want to repurpose any part of it. I just made them as is. Um, and so what that means is that I had no pieces left over, but I do still have my stamp set and it came with a Daffodil Delight ink pad. So we're going to have some fun creating with that using this stamp set um, the Daffodil Delight, and then I will bring in a few other colors and some other stamp sets. So this Ray of Light stamp set is a full background stamp set, um, and it has no sentiments with it. So I thought it would pair up really, really nicely with the sentiments from this paper pumpkin. So if you've got it, you're going to want to grab like your big block, um, which one is it? The F block. So your clear F block. So it's a nice big one. And that's the one that holds all of our background stamps. I've already got another stamp on mine for right now. So I am actually just grabbing um, our now retired, but absolutely fantastic um, Stamparatus. But I'll show you, even if you don't have a Stamparatus, once you've got your um, stamp onto a block, we can just use it upside down like this. And this is how I used to do it before the Stamparatus existed. This is how anybody who doesn't have one can do it. So you just want to get that image onto um, something large, and then you want to have a piece of scrap paper with you as well. So I'm going to ink up my whole image with Daffodil Delight ink. So for large ones like this, I don't take them to the stamp pad. I take the stamp pad to the image. That way you can really see where you're getting ink coverage. Make sure you're really getting everything covered. Okay. So there we go. So that's all covered up now with ink. And I'm going to take a piece of basic white cardstock. And I'm going to 
lay it down so that it is centered on here. There we go. And then I'm going to take my scrap paper and just rub it. You want to make sure that you get the whole thing covered. There we go. And then we can peel this away. And voila, we have our beautiful sunny sky all on there. That's our rays of light. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful background. So I'm just going to put that back off to the side. There we go. Oh, and now I never showed you guys what the final card is going to look like. So here we go. This is what we're creating. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it is a nice one. So with that done, I'm going to do some stamping now with the images from and sentiments from our paper pumpkin kit. So I've got the sunshine and the hello sunshine from that kit. So I'm going to stamp the sun in Daffodil Delight, just like we did that background. And I'm going to stamp it off to the left side of our banner. And then I'm going to get some Calypso Coral ink and stamp our sentiment, the Hello Sunshine, off to the right hand side. Now you just want to make sure that it's going to stay on your banner. So kind of line it up on the right. And the hello does overlap the sun a little bit, but the Calypso Coral is dark enough that you can do that without a problem. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do with stamping is grab that sunshine and daffodil delight again. And I'm going to put a little sun onto the corner of my envelope. There we go. So this is a very bright and cheery card. I absolutely love it. Now our next job is just to put all of this together. So I've got a pool party card base. And I've made this a tall card. I don't know. It just, it seemed like it should be. So I'm going to use my liquid glue to put just a white liner on the inside of this card. There we go. This card perfectly represents today's weather. We're supposed to get to 32 degrees in the afternoon. It is already sweaty hot outside. <laughs> um, looking forward to some time in the pool this afternoon. That's for sure. All right. So now I've put this so that the circle is down in our bottom left hand corner. Um, this part's really a matter of preference. I just thought it looked nice down there. Um, so put it like that. And then I will use some dimensionals to pop this one up. Um, Janine, if you're watching, I know the, the cards, the paper pumpkin cards, I didn't use any dimensionals on them, but that's because they were super thick cards with the way they were folded. Um, but it was kind of odd to me. I am like the dimensional queen. I use so many, it's ridiculous. All right, and then I'm doing this so that the banner stays on the card, but covers up the circle. There we go. Um, 32 means 36. It feels like that, doesn't it, Louisa, with our humidity? Um, and I think the last time I saw our humidity was almost at 70%. It was like 68 or 69. It was crazy. Um, ugh, so hot. All right. So then we are going to add some um, embellishments to this. And I've just grabbed, here, I'll show you one that's got all of them on it. Um, I've just grabbed our pastel adhesive back sequins. So it's got the gold, the pink, and the blue. And that is what I'm going to use on here. Just add a little bit of gold to this whole thing. Oh, and I just realized I am missing a sequins off of here. That's no good. All right, so I'm just gonna pop one on there. 
another one over here, another one over there. So just a little bit of gold on there just to jazz it up a bit. All right, and that is our first alternative with that July 2023 paper pumpkin and just adding in the rays of light stamp set. So yeah, beautiful one. Um, and that one is a regular $25 and 15% off today only. Okay, um, where can I put that out of the way? There we go, like that. So our next card um, is going to be featuring, <laughs> it almost looks 3D, it kind of does, doesn't it? It's a cool stamp set. Um, it's a great one to use with stars and stuff as well to create like um, like that kind of celebratory fireworksy kind of look. All right, so our second card I brought in Oceanfront, another one of my favorite stamp sets that has no sentiment. So it's really nice to be able to pair it up with the sentiments in this kit because there's some really great ones to do with the ocean that um, kind of tie it all together. So we're gonna use Oceanfront for this one. There is our finished card and it looks fancy, but it's so not. That's why this is one of my favorite stamp sets. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to create gorgeous watercolors without water. Um, <laughs> it is so, so easy. It's ridiculous. All right. So um, we're starting just with a small piece of basic white cardstock again. Um, now this one is a little bit smaller than like, it's not the full card front. It's three and a half by four and three quarters. Um, and that's just going to frame everything up really nicely. So we're going to grab this block first. Now, I just wanna make sure that this is clean. I, I know it doesn't look clean. Um, it's permanently stained pink, um, but I wanna make sure there's no ink on there. And we're going to start with our Daffodil Delight again. So I'm actually inking the whole thing up with Daffodil Delight. There we go. And then I am going to grab some Melon Mambo ink. So we're gonna pull in a new color here. And I'm just going to do like just one little tap on there across the bottom. And I'm going to blend that together using one of our sponge daubers. So I'm just going to sponge daub over top of that line to make it not so much of a line. There we go. Now with that done, we're going to place this right here at the top of our paper. There we go. So, it doesn't look the same, you're right. I'm gonna show you the trick to this after I've done all of our stamping. So with that one done, we're now going to stamp our ocean. So I'm grabbing the ocean piece and some azure afternoon. I'm just gonna ink that one up. And then this just lines up at the bottom just so easy peasy, just like that. Okay, there is our azure afternoon. Then we need our sand and our sand is going to come in pecan pie. Okay, now when I originally did this, I did it full strength. I'm going to actually change that and um, stamp it off. I just found it was a little bit too dark for my liking. So we're gonna stamp that off and pop that in. Okay. And let's see, so that was our pecan pie. Now we're gonna bring in some memento black for our sentiment. And um, the one I chose was I see brighter days ahead. Um, the other one that I thought would go really well on here is sending an ocean of love. Actually, I might do that one for this go round, just so that I've got the same card with two sentiments for different occasions. 
So let's see, I'm just going to get this all clean and swap it out. So if you don't have the paper pumpkin set, you can, of course, just grab any sentiments you want. Um, I just thought that this worked so nicely with these sentiments, and I love to always get just a little bit more use out of my out of my paper pumpkin stamp sets once I've created all the cards in the kit. So, and especially with this being um, a stamp set, the ocean front that has no sentiments, it's always nice to find new ones to be able to add in there. So yeah, um, so there we go, sending an ocean of love. So sweet. All right. Now, a little bit more stamping. We're going to grab our flirty flamingo and take the little sea star from the paper pumpkin kit and stamp that on there. And where'd my envelope go? Oh, no, that's it. Hmm. Maybe I didn't put an envelope with this one. Interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly grab one from my stack over here. Oh, come on. There we go. And I'm going to stamp a sea star on our envelope as well in Flirty Flamingo. So that little guy is from our paper pumpkin. He's so sweet. Oops. Around. There we go. All right. And then we're going to bring back our pecan pie. And we're going to do a little bit of speckling of our sand. So I am going to stamp off for this and just add in a little speckle there and a little speckle on our card front just to create a little sandy beach um, for our sea star. Okay. And now comes the magic on this card. Oh, sorry. Actually, one more stamp and then some magic. <laughs> Actually, no, I should do that one after. All right, so you'll see that this one's really bright and watery looking, and this one's kind of dull and not as watery looking. And the trick behind all of that is our blender pens. They actually come in a three pack. And this, this always reminds me of kind of um, those, like, you know when you, your parents would give you when you were really little those little watercolor books and you'd get a little glass of water and a paintbrush and you'd just color the pages and the color would pop out? Well, that's basically what this is. Um, the way this stamp set stamps is all these fine little dots. And so we're going to start up in our yellow. And I'm just coloring fairly quickly over top of the dots with my blender pen. My blender pen has no color in it. Um, so I'm just coloring across those dots and kind of filling in the white spaces by dragging the ink across, which is why I started in the yellow, so that when I go down into the pink, it will create kind of like an orangish color that I won't be dragging pink up into my yellow. So start with your lighter colors and work your way down. And so it's really not, you don't want to spend too much time in one spot because you'll actually make your paper kind of fuzzy. But just quickly. And so there's no water here, so nothing's going to bleed and run around on your page and go places you don't want it to. Um, but there we go. And we've just really brightened that up. Now, to me, that's still not quite as bright as I would like it to be. So I'm going to come back in with my little sponge dauber that has my melon mambo on it. And I'm just going to very gently sponge over top of that, just like that. And then there we go. And that just makes it pop. And then we can do the same. The other two don't need it as much as the sky does, but then we can go and do the same with our water. So you just wanna give it a little scrub on um, a piece of scrap paper just to take any leftover pink off of here. And then you go down into your water and just color that and it just kind of makes everything pop. 
Now, if you were using a different type of paper, you could also do this with actual water, but you'd want to be really sparing in your water so that the colors didn't bleed together, or you'd want to stamp and wet, let it dry, and then do the next one, stamp, wet, dry, that kind of thing. But by using the blender pen, there's no water, so I can just come in here and, um, and do all three at once. There we go. All right, and so that just really livens the whole thing up. Um, so with that done, now we're just going to glue all of our bits together. So we're just, we're gluing this piece to a layer of Coastal Cabana to a crumb cake card base, and then we're gluing our um, our white layer on the inside just to give it a little place to write. All right, so I'm going to start with that white layer on the inside. So let's grab our card base, fold that. I always kind of look at how it folds and decide which way is front based on that. So I find even though I try to make them perfect, there's always one that just has a little lip. So I put that to the back. Yeah, of course I can show you guys the blender pen again. So it just looks like this. You actually get them, mine are really old. So mine are still in the old blue packaging, but you get three in a set of the blender pen. And so it's really just um, like, I don't know, it just blends the inks together. And so it's a nice way to color. The other thing that you can do with it here, I'll just show you guys before, um, before I glue my next layers. The other thing that you can do with the blender pen is you can actually color things. So let's say I didn't have, um, I didn't have Azure Afternoon in a felt pen, but I wanted to color something with Azure Afternoon. I could put a little bit of ink there, make sure my pen's clean. I could pick up that ink and then I can, here I'll just color in a square or two. I can color in with that and it will slowly fade away, which is also a really nice way if you're coloring something to create like a nice little ombre look. And so you can just keep going until you run out of ink or if you're done coloring then just clean your brush off on a piece of paper until there's no color and then even if the tip is still stained as long as it's not coloring then you're able to um, just go dip it again in another color so kind of a cool thing for coloring as well if you don't have all the markers um, yeah, just kind of blender pens are really, there's a lot of uses to them, but I actually really like them for this um, kind of smoothing out on some of our, um, some of our images that have like that watercolory look to them. Oh, now before I do this, I realized I forgot my seagrass. So I didn't want to do this before. I don't think the blender pen will make the memento black ink bleed. But just to be safe, um, we just waited. And now I'm going to go throw a little bit of seagrass there onto my card. All right. So that is all of my stamping. And now, like I said, we'll finish gluing these all together. So I'm going to do that. So this one to our Coastal Cabana, another card with no dimensionals. I must be sick, Janine. <laughs> and then this to our card front. And there we go. Just like that. All right, and then of course some embellishments to go on this one. And so I am using those same um, pastel adhesive back sequins. Um, sequins are one of my favorite embellishments. And I am just going to put a little assortment onto the front of this card. Just 
just like that. And that is our card finished. So you can see that this stamp set, the oceanfront stamp set, um, just creates beautiful sceneries. And then you could do all sorts of stuff in the foreground. Like if you've got the heron stamp, you could throw that on there or, you know, just like all sorts of things. You could also do this um, more in like all blue tones and make it a beautiful daytime sky. Um, lots and lots of options with this card. Um, yeah, it's just a really fantastic stamp set. And again, 15% off today and goes so nicely with that paper pumpkin um, just for some extra little fun in there. All right, we'll put that one to the side. And our final card today um, uses another stamp set. This one does have words with it, um, but it's just one of my favorites. It's the Waves of Inspiration. Um, so here we go, Waves of Inspiration. Now there are dies that go with this set, but they're no longer bundled. So you're not going to get the bundle savings on them anyways. So grabbing the stamp set now at 15% off and then the dies to go with it or not. I, as much as I love the dies, I often use this stamp set without the dies. And today is a perfect example of that. I am going to do some stamping with our Azure Afternoon. So the same blue we used on our last card. I am going to use it today on this one. Let's see, where did I put it? Oh, I put it back on the shelf. There we go. So I'm going to grab my Azure Afternoon. I'm going to ink up my whole wave. So again, I've got this one on a big block and I'm taking the ink pad to the image. And then I am gonna bring it in here and line it up so that my wave sits where I want it to on this circle and comes all the way down and covers up the whole thing. All right, so with that done, I am going to pick up a little bit of Azure Afternoon on my blending brush. So blender pens, blending brushes. I'm gonna take a lot of it off on the side and then just come in and really lightly kind of color in just the top, like where the sky would be basically, not the whole thing. Okay, so we've just given ourselves a beautiful blue sky behind our wave. And now I'm gonna add some fun to this wave, give it a little ocean sparkle with my Wink of Stella. And I'm gonna use it kind of like how I used that blender pen in that I'm just using it to pick up and move around a little bit of the ink that's already on the page. Um, the added bonus of this is that as I do it, it's also spreading a little bit of sparkle. I know it's really hard to see that on the video, but in person, it's just got this beautiful shimmer to it. Now, if you find that you've run out of shimmer in your brush tip and you need to kind of um, squeeze the pen to get a little bit more shimmer out onto your tip, do not do it over your project. <laughs> I find that when I do that, I end up with globs and you don't want a glob on your project. You really want the finest little layer on here. Okay. So there we go. I've just given it a little shimmer and just changed up the look just the tiniest bit. So we're going to let that sit to the side to dry. It doesn't take long um, while I work on the other bits of this card. So now we've got, um, this is from Stylish Shapes. It's the largest circle. This is also from Stylish Shapes. And we're just going to stamp in here, um, waving hello from our paper pumpkin kit. Um, just kind of silly. There we go. So waving hello again in that Azure afternoon. I'm going to put that off to the side. Now for our card base, our card front, um, you'll notice that this one has like quite a lot of texture to it. And I want to show you a really cool way to do that. So what I have is the splatters embossing folder from our stripes and splatters. And I am just going to come on in and emboss 
the front of my card. Oops, I'm just lining this up so that the edge of that is along the edge of my fold. There we go. And that I have an equal border on either side or equal-ish. Now I'm not gonna bring my whole big machine in here, but I'll show you. I'm gonna use plate four and the big base and I'm just gonna go run this through my big machine. So give me a second while I do that. Okay, so I just ran it through just like that. And when we pull this away, we have all that great texture on there. Um, but this isn't quite finished. It looks a little unpolished. Um, so I'm just, oops, I put all my stamps on the tool I need. I'm just gonna bring in my Simply Scored board and show you how you can use this board to add some beautiful details to your cards. So this is my Simply Scored and I'm simply going to lay this down here and then using the tool that comes with it, I'm gonna find the closest groove to the edge of where that embossing was and I'm going to do two straight lines just to add a little bit of detail. And then same thing on this side. On this side I find always a little bit more challenging because I'm not a lefty. There we go. I'm going to do that and that. And so that's just kind of created a finished border to that embossing and just really makes it look polished and done. Um, so the Simply Scored board is on low inventory right now. So if you don't have one and would love one, um, I would act fast, act today during our sale. Um, but it is just such a handy tool to create um, looks like that. Um, the embossing folder, it's actually a two pack. It's called Stripes and Splatters. And so you get these really cool looking stripes. Um, they're not like finished stripes. Um, Let's see, I actually have it on the other side of the room. Just give me a second. There we go. So it's these really kind of unfinished rough stripes and then the splatters as well. And so um, 157980 if you're looking for a code and it's $15 and you get the two of them. They do fit through our mini machine. I couldn't use them on our mini machine with this though because this is wider than our machine. <laughs> but if you wanted to do a whole panel, they do fit nicely. All right, so let's finish up our card. Now I'm making up for no dimensionals on the last card by using only dimensionals on this card. Um, so I'm gonna flip over this circle put dimensionals all over it. One in the center for good luck. There we go. Pop all those on there. Peel off our backings. And I'm going to put that down on the left hand side. Oh, that's probably more loopy than I wanted it to be. That's okay. We'll just move where our waving hello is. Now, I'm only going to put two dimensionals on our waving hello, one on the far right hand side, one in the center. And then you can use whatever you'd like on this left hand side. You probably actually don't need anything, but I like secure cards. I'm going to use just a little dash of seal. You could use a mini glue dot, a dab of glue, whatever you'd like. And that's just going to help hold it onto our wave. So you just decide where you like the look of that. Pop that on there. And then of course we'll finish up with some um, pastel adhesive back sequins. I don't know why I keep forgetting the names of those. All right. And like that and another one up here. There we go. And that is 
our third card all finished. I should use a bone folder for that, but um, there you go. And then if you wanted to decorate your envelope, you could totally do that as well. And I would probably do that with just a little, a little wave actually. Let's grab our Azure Afternoon, ink this up. There we go. And I'd actually do this one kind of on a funny angle over on the side so that the whole thing, just a little, little bit of wave ends up going onto our envelope. Just a little sneak peek of what's, of what's coming. Um, so that is our third card. Just gonna put that right there. Let's see, where did my case go for this? Oh, there it is. Um, so I'll just bring in the different stamp sets that we used on our three different cards. So three gorgeous stamp sets with three beautiful cards using um, elements and um, and sentiments from our paper pumpkin, our July 2023. Um, fun in the sun paper pumpkin. So that's where all the sentiments came from and just kind of gives a, a fun quirky twist to these three very actually elegant stamp sets. Um, so I'm so happy you guys were able to join me. I hope you guys liked those. Now um, normally with a card class to go I offer a kit and everything but this week I'm still kind of on holidays. Um, <laughs> So I'm not actually going to be offering a card class to go kit for these cards. Um, but what I am offering is, well, of course, with a $60 order, you're going to get your bonus days coupon anyways from Stampin' Up. Um, if you make it 65, I'm going to send you my 42 card crafty collaborations tutorial PDF for the month of July. Um, any stamp set from our annual catalog, you'll get 15% off of, thanks to Stampin' Up! just today, um, July 19th only. Um, here in BC, that's till 11 p.m. Um, and then with a $75 order, I will also mail you a mystery prize. I've got some embellishments to share. I've got... Um, little packets of the delightfully eclectic DSP and some other goodies um, ready to go in the mail for people who place a $75 or more order. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. You guys can always rewatch this video um, and, you know, go through your own stash and find your own sentiments that you might want to put with these cards and um, have a great day. I hope you have some fun in the sun and I know I'll be escaping the heat this afternoon and doing some more crafting, getting ready to head back to work in a week or two. Um, so yeah, have a wonderful day everyone. Bye.